hello 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 welcome back to dream queen by Perla. so libra this is your reading for um this month august 7th till september 7th <sighs> dusk till dawn is your song because i want to touch you baby i want to feel you too this is for some of you maybe you're missing someone from the past or maybe you're just missing that touch of a person anyone but the thing here is that God, Spirit, your ancestors, your angels, your guides want you to see yourself as someone that is worth as someone that is worth it, of someone that has value, as someone that doesn't have to compromise who you are in order to be in a connection or in a relationship, of someone who realizes what your worth is. The time for you to, and again. This can be your energy, Libra, or someone around you. But there is a space here of somebody that is extremely tired, drained. Um, somebody that is having a hard time getting up in the morning to just get their day started. And it's because your soul is trying to reveal something to you. Something that you had to release. There was a lot of issues that you had to go ahead and clear. Things that you were supposed to come clean about. Things, secrets that you were supposed to reveal, etc., etc. And the burden of carrying all of this is now physically affecting you. So, the question is... How you're living your life right now, is that how you want to continue or do you want change? Do you want growth? Because the only way that that growth is going to happen is by you going into those spaces or those energies of confrontation, confronting your own path and confronting yourself for not doing it sooner. Because I feel that once you guys go ahead and you start healing whatever it is that you need to heal during this month, you guys are going to realize that you have kept yourself confined in a certain space within a certain energy. The time to be drinking out of other people's cups has to end. Now, what do I mean by that? In order for you guys, again, whether it's you or someone around you, there is an energy here of somebody that needs others' approval. So this person, like they morph into whatever situation they're in because they want to so badly be accepted by society, so badly be accepted by others, but they have yet to be able to accept themselves fully. Now, this is a cycle that has continuously gone on. And these patterns of self-destructive behavior, some of you have eating disorders, some of you have sex addiction, some of you have... There, there is just all of these things that are slowly eating at your soul, slowly eating at you. And the question is, are you tired enough to make the change? Are you tired enough to release all of this once and for all? Or are you going to stay stuck in that space of wanting to blame everyone and everything around you? It is a space of if I just agree with everyone then I'll be okay. But the thing is that just because you're agreeing with people does not necessarily mean that they truly accept you. There was something that I have read where it says, a friend to all is a friend to none. Because you have to realize or you have to see what it is that you stand for. Who are you? If you don't show the world your true face, your true colors, then how are you expecting anyone to truly accept you? <sighs> the chance to start the process and really go inward to really heal whatever it is, to really get to uncover who you are, 
to really get to a place where you really feel that you truly know yourself and it's not just superficial it's here that time for you to work on your alignment is here that time for you to work on discovering really truly who libra is is here but are you willing to let go of the fear of the unknown in order to do so because whatever it was that happened to you it was so dramatic that even the thought of thinking of it kind of holds you back from even trying to heal that space or that area so some of you are afraid that whatever it is that is going to come up to be revealed or to be released it's going to be too much for you to handle but with that what you're being reminded is that whatever you can't manage or heal at the time consciously will be done at a subconscious level until you are consciously able to handle the situation now that is why i always say yes it is very good to dive into healing but not everyone is to, is supposed to be diving into healing in the same way some are going to have to take smaller steps to get to a place where they're not allowing the fear to hold them back whereas others can jump in because they have dealt with that area or that space of fear so this month is definitely the perfect month for you guys to start with your healing and again it's like you're, you're it's like that reminder that that reminder that you're not going to be put in a position where you're not going to be able to consciously handle the situation so it's like go in with faith knowing that only what you can handle at the time is the only thing that is really going to be revealed to you during this time and there goes Zena. she's barking um, they've been trying to come into the room for a while now, but I'm almost done for today. So the Queen of Heaven, blessings from the Divine Empress of the Sky. This is the energy that is with you guys during this month. Um, let's go ahead and just lower it a little bit. The Queen of Heaven, the Divine Empress of the Skies, acknowledges your feminine authority now. As a man or as a woman, you have the light path of spiritual leadership to bring qualities of mercy, compassion, and wisdom into the world. But in order for you to do that, you have to go inward and heal the things that you have to heal because this is going to put you in a place, it's going to allow you to take your rightful place in this world. It's going to allow you to stand, you know, if you're already in a position of leadership or something like that, then this is going to facilitate you to do a better job within that leadership that you're already in so let's go ahead and see what the advice is um i do feel that for a lot of you libras you guys really do not want to hear this um you're kind of taking that mentality or that thought process that if it's out of sight out of mind um or out of mind out of sight whatever but then again it's like if you go ahead and you look at your repeated cycles the repeated actions that you're taking and how at the end of the day you're feeling like crap then you realize that you don't have all of it under control you don't have you haven't healed it all you have done is allow that pain to really um harden your heart to true healing it's like some of you haven't even really experienced what true love is when it when like when we're talking about like divine love when you feel that love and that grace from god from spirit some of you haven't experienced that because you haven't allowed yourself to do so so with the with the hierophant in the reverse what i'm getting here is do not rush through your healing if you have to st spend a certain amount of time healing something even if it takes longer for you than others it is okay you need to take your time with your healing but it needs to be initiated it needs to be started i feel that you guys get a wimp of what it is that is trying to be healed and you guys go into this hierophant energy and then right away 
right away want to go ahead and get out of it because you feel that it's too much and you need to stop doing that because all you're doing is self-sabotaging your growth. With the Serpienta Soul in the reverse is like the fear that you have to healing this wound is more mental than anything else because again you are not being led down this path to destroy you this is not a path of destruction this is something that your angels your ancestors your guys the universe mother earth has been trying to get you to heal so that you can go ahead and experience love that self-love, that self-worth with this Lord of Cups, that you see how the, the like the, the cup is coming directly up to like, you know, to like, you know, to his chest, like to his heart, etc. however you want to word it. And it's like, you have been blocking this love, this immense love, this immense grace, this peace within yourself. And it's like, aren't, don't you want this? Don't you want to feel peace? Don't you want to be comfortable in your own skin? Don't you want to be comfortable with who you are? Don't you want to show the world who you are? Whether it is that you like to dress a certain way, whether it is that you like to do your hair a certain way, whatever it is that you like to do, aren't you tired already? It's like, that's what you have to ask yourself aren't you tired of hiding your true nature or your true self it's like enough is enough already just be you <sighs> temperance <sighs> the priestess of dreams and one more Spirit of Cups. So with this Hierophant in the reverse, and then we have the Temperance. You see how she's there? She has a, a, a like a pail or something, and then she has a cup, but it's like a, a, a jug of water or something, but it's like empty. So then it's again, it's like, because you continue, it, once you go ahead and you allow this, this healing to start, even in the midst of it, she may look like she's not sure which direction to take, but she really does. She looks composed. She looks content, even though she doesn't know what to expect, because this healing, this this hierophant that is supposed to be in the in the upright, this hierophant that you're being advised not to push up, not to push away, this healing that you're at, you're being advised to take in and to allow in, is not going to destroy you. Is not going and I feel like that is what the main thing is here you guys need to realize that this is not going to destroy you with the the priestess of dreams over the serpientes of soul is like as you can tell like it's coming out of her thing or whatever but it's like you see how all like it, it's, it's like blue but it's darker it's like you're releasing all of that that has stopped you you're releasing all of that pain all of that anger all of that resentment that has been holding you back or has been keeping you stuck in connections in situations that no longer serve you but you fail to see how people treat you or how people are using you because that need that that space where you are needed is that you crave it with the lord of cups once you start to feel what true self-love and self-worth feels like that love that you're going to feel from spirit with the spirit of cup that love that you're going to feel from the universe that connectiveness that you're going to feel to everyone and everything that love that you're going to feel for nature and for everything is going to literally blow your mind and bring your awareness and your ascension to a level to a place that you have never experienced before and the beautiful thing is that that is when the true you is going to start emerging out and really start to show the world who Libra is and what Libra has to offer. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you for this month. As always, thank you for all the love and support. And I'll see you guys back next month. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye.